We have the opportunity to feed all our children at no cost. You would think everybody's coming. They're not. So what is it? It's just not cooked. It's just it's microwave and it tastes bad. What'd you have for lunch? What I had? Four cheese sticks and milk. Four <laughs> cheese sticks and milk and nothing else for lunch today? Yep. What did you have for breakfast? Nothing. They opened the freezer and showed me the food, and the food was all frozen. It was shipped up from Long Island, and it was all wrapped in plastic. They showed me how they heated it up in the plastic, served it in the plastic. Then I said, is that the way we feed kids? And he said, oh, this is primarily. The majority of urban kids are fed that way. And it's very efficient, and there's big businesses built around it, and that's how it is. It's kind of hard to learn when you're hungry. I come out of lunch hungry. That doesn't even make sense. When you start to actually hear the stories of children who live in poverty, where food insecurity is such a real thing for them, it's beyond what you can fathom when that's not your reality. The only way that you can get better food that doesn't have to be prepackaged, doesn't have to be pre-cooked, is you need to have kitchens. It's very difficult to make some changes. We don't necessarily have money and our schools here are very old. I've always been an entrepreneur and challenges like this are really interesting to me. If we want to put a salad bar in both of these places, can we do that? Well, you're gonna need a bigger uh, storage here. Our goal was to show that we could actually put a finishing kitchen in a basement of a school that was built in 1900. Electrical. So we just need a truck and a driver to help take food from East Boston High School and deliver it to three schools. The second step of this was to make sure that kids were eating the food. So I reached out to Ken Oranger. Perfect. Ken, of course, is a chef, he runs incredible restaurants in the city and around the world. We're not trying to show you what to do. Why not? The blue shirts ain't afraid of the white coats, OK? <laughs> They'll deliver from here to the satellite school. What we wanted to make sure of was that you could provide fresh, nutritious food that kids love under the price of vended meals. It blew kids' minds. I liked it. Shout out to the people who made it. Yeah. Feeding kids nutritional meals, it is not hard. It's not that expensive to build these kitchens. I think it's all extraordinarily doable. This is exciting uh, here in East Boston. You're a pilot program. You started something special here in the city of Boston. Having nutritious meals in schools is a game changer for people in the development of their brain, and the development of their body. This is an equalizer. You know, you can see how it's completely transformative. <laughs>